Hi kids, my name is Brett Buffington. I'm a captain with the Orange County Fire Authority. We're here today in partnership with the Orange County Public Library to read some of these books. Uh, this book is being read with the permission of the publisher, which is Marshall Cavendish. The book we're gonna be reading today is called What's Inside a Fire Truck. Watch out, the fire truck is coming. The firefighters switch on the siren and emergency lights and the lights flash and turn. Two firefighters sit inside the front cab. Four or five more sit behind them. The dispatcher gives the address over the radio and the fire chief works out a plan to fight the fire. Firefighters use yellow tape to mark the fire line. It keeps people away from the fire. The ladder truck goes to work first. The tall aerial ladder rises into the sky. The outriggers keep the truck steady. Wow, that's a really long ladder. The aerial ladder can reach people trapped in high places. A firefighter can also stand on the ladder with his hose. He sprays water or special chemicals onto the fire. Smaller ladders are kept on the sides of the truck. A first aid kit is inside the truck too. Many firefighters are paramedics. The paramedics use the kit to help people who are hurt. I'm a paramedic too, and I like to help people who are hurt. Inside the truck, there are hooks, axes, and poles. They are used to break down walls, doors, and windows. Sometimes, firefighters make holes in rooftops. The holes let out smoke and heat. Wow, that sounds exciting. When everyone is safe, the pumper truck gets back to work. The pumper can use water from its own tank, or it can hook up to a fire hydrant. Does everybody have a fire hydrant near their house? A big hose connects to the truck. It carries water from the hydrant into the pumper. Long rows of flat hoses are folded on top of the truck. The firefighters aim the hose at the fire. The truck pumps water through the hose. The jet of water can be as long as a football field. The truck's control panel shows the water pressure. If the pressure is too high, the hose can get out of control. If the pressure is too low, the water will not reach the fire. The pumper has many other firefighting tools. A fire extinguisher can put out small fires. Air tanks and masks help the firefighters breathe through the smoke. I have a mask just like that. When the fire is out, the trucks return to the firehouse. The firefighters check and clean their equipment. The trucks are washed and polished the firefighters need a good scrubbing too. I love a good shower after a fire. Thank you for joining me today, kids. I hope you learned something. Uh, if you would like to check out this book, please visit the website on the bottom of the screen. Bye.